My Cat Ralph is perhaps the world's greatest living jazz pianist. I mean, his technique's a little unconventional, but isn't that true of all the greats? Oscar Peterson, Thelonious Monk, Art Tatum. Granted, none of them played the piano with their head, but Ralph's a very passionate little dude. The trouble is, well, piano keys are designed around the width of a human finger, meaning they're far too small for a clumsy cat paw. Ralph keeps accidentally hitting the wrong notes and then gets endlessly frustrated with himself. So I'm gonna build him his very own piano, one that's specifically designed for cats. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. How can you not subscribe for that adorable face? I thought I'd first start with a piano mat, like the one Tom Hanks plays in the movie Big. It's designed for kids to play with their feet, or kids trapped in adult bodies in Tom Hanks' case. Allow my invisible friend to demonstrate. Anyway, Ralph was curious but cautious. He eventually stepped a paw onto the mat, but was startled by the wake-up noise. I think he scared himself. Bella was easily persuaded with treats, but I should point out that she's very fussy with textures, and I could tell she hated both the sound and feel of the crinkly plastic. She sat down immediately next to it instead. Emboldened by his sister's presence and the promise of treats, Ralph was a bit more adventurous, this time stepping more than just a paw onto the piano. But their suspicion ultimately gave way to aversion. Despite leaving it in place for a day or two, the cats avoided it the whole time. So it was on to plan B. Bananas. Bear with me on this one. This is something called a Makey Makey, and it's essentially just a very basic circuit board marketed as an educational tool for kids. It allows you to turn everyday objects into piano keys amongst other things. So if I get five bananas, attach them to the circuit board with crocodile clips and ground myself, I have a banana piano. bananas. It's great fun, but it's very basic with limited notes. The piano app sounds terrible, and it's definitely more of an educational tool than a creative one. But what if I took the idea to its logical extreme? What if I wire up some cat-sized piano keys, and then use Logic Pro's better sounding instruments and musical typing to make something way bigger and better? I think this calls for a montage. just like that, it was finished. So the wooden base is lined with foil, and then each individual key is lined with foil and wired up, so that when the two bits of foil touch, the note is triggered. Now I put these sponges on either end so it doesn't touch most of the time, but with the weight of a chunky cat butt in the middle, the note plays. How cool is this? So the piano works, but the million dollar question is will Ralph actually use it? Nope, of course not. He rolled around lazily on the floor right next to it, as if taunting me with his fluffy frolics. Yeah, he's definitely taunting me right now. But Bella on the other hand, why Bella loved it. She was a little apprehensive at first, skirting around the edges, but with that very first poor step, Bella realised she'd found a new favourite place to sit. The only trouble was, well once she'd plonked her butt down on a key, she wasn't moving for anyone. To Bella, I hadn't built a piano, but instead an incredibly comfortable sitting spot. But if I could just get a shot of her sitting on each key individually, then with a little creative editing, I might be able to make something work. And so one by one, I bribed her onto each key with treats, after which she'd patiently sit down and wait for the next one, giving me the perfect photo opportunity. It took a while, but Bella is an old lady after all, and soon I had everything I needed. So with that, I proudly present to you Bella's first ever composition, The Donut Dance. Wait a sec, let's try a second piano an octave higher.
Now let's try something faster. Okay, we don't want Bella to explode. Let's go for something slow and thoughtful. So there we have it, the giant cat piano. And legend has it, Bella is still sitting on it to this day. As for Ralph, well he hasn't been discouraged. In the words of all time great Thelonious Monk, the piano ain't got no wrong notes. I guess that's jazz, and it's only for cool cats like Ralph to understand. <laughs>